What is up, guys? It's your boy Jay Z Bottom Lip, and today I wanted to go over RPS. RPS stands for Rock, Paper, Scissors. And the reason why I wanted to go over this is because, again, a lot of NRS players don't know these terminologies that may be helpful in certain situations where you're like, what, what's happening right now? What is this? Combat. RPS is a little different than what I've seen and recognized and experienced in other fighting games like Guilty Gear, you got Grand Blue, and so on and so forth. I wanted to show you guys a video really quick of Guilty Gear where someone made a scenario or a situation of RPS, and I wanted you guys to check it out. I have found myself in quite the predicament. I could go for throw to catch a slower button. I could go for jump or backdash to bait out the throw. I could press a button to call out the jump or backdash. Oh Goldie, you found yourself in quite the predicament this time, we are at it again. Last time I went for throw, certainly this time they wouldn't expect me to go for it again. Well, you know what they say, third time's the charm. They never expect the fourth. First, I would like to say uh, shout out to that boy Backpack for making that video. It made it very uh, self-explanatory when you look at it that way. Well, the NRS is a little different when it comes to RPS, right? So the best way to look at it, right? Is remember when the camera slowed down when he was talking about a situation that was about to happen after the conflict happened so an example of it in this game would be once reptile does standing one he is plus two for whatever reason as if you're crouching you're blocking doesn't matter once he hits you with standing one it becomes a rps moment and the reason being is because there's a few things that he is guaranteed or some of the things that he can do. Not necessarily is he guaranteed, depending on what character he's fighting against. Like if he's playing against Johnny, he might get poked. But again, he has plus two, so Johnny might get blown up for it, actually. It becomes an RPS moment because there's a few things that he can do after standing one. Most of the time, when reptiles do stand one, they will backdash into back three. And I also wanted to replicate this, uh, this moment for you guys to see. So basically what I would do is I would go to um get up mode um and i'll do this i'll record it right then i'll go down to here put it on boom now when i do a stand poke he's going to counter poke right fast as he can see if i can do it even better let's see right he's poking as fast as he can he gets hit by back three the reason why he's getting hit back back three is because by the time that I'm plus, I can back dash into back three and whiff punish him. So again, it becomes an RP, a RPS moment because he's not guaranteed a back three, even though it's kind of funny. Like, yeah, he is, but he's not. So the reason why he's guaranteed a back three is because you're poking on his plus frame. So boom. So I could do uh, and back dash. So again, when he does uh, stand one, it becomes an RPS moment because there's a few things that he's guaranteed. He can do this into this. He can do this and do nothing. He can do this into grab. And then he also can do this into backdash. But you can eliminate those options because in certain situations and scenarios, he, would he wouldn't necessarily do this into grab. Because most of the time when people see stand poke, they're going to neutral duck or they're going to they're going to um, they're going to counter poke as well. So what they like to do is they'll do this into backdash. So what you can do is play also can play that mind game with him as well. You can neutral jump and punish him for it. So like when he does stand poke, you can punish him or when he does stand poke, you can chase him down. And do that as well or the more safe option is slightly dash forward and then down four but you also have to remember if you're just a slightly off you will get hit off of one button creates a scenario of mind games that has to be played no matter what even if you don't want to play it by not pressing a button you choose to play it by not pressing a button <laughs> which is funny because you have decided that that is the best option out of all the other options, rather it be jump, whether it be um, the dash forward, down forward, because a lot of times, too, 
you want to adapt or understand why your opponent is doing something. I'll give you another example of a character who plays RPS insanely well. It's actually annoying and it's so busted, right? And we were talking about shimmies, right? And we were talking about auto shimmies. This character, it's just well-rounded and Liu Kang's RPS is so strong. His down three is what creates the RPS. And I'll show you. You could do it anywhere on the map. It doesn't have to be the, uh, the corner. It doesn't have to be the center. It could be anywhere. So basically, for whatever reason you want to play neutral with your opponent, you get clipped by down three. You get clipped by down three. You automatically have to guess. If you look at um, hit advantage, hit advantage is 13. This move, I mean, I mean I'm sorry, I apologize. The, the hit advantage is 12. The four, this uh, startup frame is 12 as well. So this basically gels. If you wanted to mash here, which I do not recommend, you will die. Even off his down three, you will die. Down three is better than down four. It's because it has pushed you back. It pushes you back a little further and down three doesn't. You stay stationary. And on top of that, grabs are 10 frames. So that's a that is a two frame gap in between where he's going to do. Is he going to so after? OK, so basically after he does down three, you have to guess down three grab and you have to think, right? You don't want to get grabbed because we already talked about this, right? You already know what happens. Boom. Right. So again, you have this, you have down three into four of three and this is minus four or you could do this and that's minus three so now you also and then on top of that i forgot to even mention he could do this and this jails and that's plus so the rock paper scissors with this character is broke he get and then if, if you're trying to remember we were talking about in the video if you're trying to sit there and micro duck you're gonna die because you're going to get clipped by four, four. Because remember, this right here on block is plus three. So I can get a four. I can get a four, four after this. Or if I feel like you're going to match, I can just hit you with that. And that hit advantage is minus 11. And remember, grabs are 10. You are playing the mind game rock, paper, scissors that you do not want to play. This character is insane. If you get clipped for whatever reason by a down three, or if you're just get caught lacking for not blocking, you are in a state of trouble because you have to guess. And the best option I can think of for anyone who's playing against Liu Kang is do not take the throw, just tech the throw. Do not neutral duck, tech the throw. This is something that you're gonna have to learn because God forbid this man get the layer in you like he did me in tournament. I'm actually gonna show you guys a video of what happened to me when I tried to OS against this character and didn't do it again because uh, if I EX it, it just becomes really good. So you see what's happening when he does down three. Um, I can actually go back slightly so you guys can see. Um, he's playing, I didn't notice it until just now actually. He's playing off a of down three because understanding that down three, boom, just told you like I said, right? Combo, boom, boom. EX allows you to get a free jump in. He's plus off his jump in, grab. This is also another um, RPS. He's put me in the RPS situation um, where he's continuously just giving me 50-50s the whole time. And I think this is it's kind of busted, but you know, it is it is what it is. Those are RPS moments. All those were RPS moments. Put me in a rock, paper, scissors uh, situation where I had to guess either duck or tech to grab or just block. That was the, my only options basically in those situations. And I chose to basically neutral duck and my timing was slightly off or I just was not very confident in my uh, neutral duck. So I kind of neutral duck, but then didn't neutral duck and I didn't fully commit. So I got grabbed and that led to a, you know, whole nother, you know, situation that I didn't want to deal with. I'm, I'm not doing this, so don't hear me out. I'm not saying pick up Liu Kang, and I'm not saying pick up Reptile, because I'll probably hate you, because they're the most annoying characters to fight in this game, in my opinion. But if you do pick up these characters, these are some things that you want to implement in your playstyle and your gameplay, and I promise you it will give your opponent a hard time. I appreciate you guys watching. It's your boy Jay-Z, bottom lip. I'm out.